Namaste. Let's continue with the previous learning dialogue video where we are discussing about uh, composite conductors. Okay. So we have considered two pairs of uh, two conductors which are of uh, made up of composite uh, conductors, conductor A and conductor B, and we have seen we have calculated the inductance uh, in conductor A, in which we have obtained like this. Okay. So it is a natural logarithm. Uh, it's LA is 2 into 10 power minus 7 natural logarithm. Just if we have two terms, one is in the denominator and the second one is numerator and denominator. So we are going to give a specific names for uh, these uh, numerators and denominators. Just if you see the geometrical uh, configuration of uh, these conductors, uh, if you look at these uh, terms also. Okay? So if you consider the numerator, it is it is m dash nth root of the product of all possible combinations of distances from the strands in group B or conductor B to the conductors or strands in conductor A. Okay. For example, if you take this first term itself, first term itself, it is the product of the distances from the strands in group or conductor B to the conductor one uh, strand one in conductor A. Okay, so this is the term, this particular term. Okay, so what is this term? It is the product of the distances from all the strands of conductor B to the strand one or first strand in conductor A. Similarly, this particular uh, this ith term, if you can consider the ith term again, it is the product of all the distances from all the strands in conductor B to ith conductor, ith strand in conductor A. Similarly, the last one is also same. It is the product of the distances from all the strands in conductor B to the nth strand in conductor A. So, if you take a uh, these uh, individual terms, there will be some n number of individual terms which are multiplied. Okay, so this numerator is uh, nothing but the m dash nth root of product of all possible distances from the strands of conductor B to the strands of conductor A. There are m dash number of strands in conductor. Uh, P and there are n number of strands in conductor uh, A. So, individual terms will have product of m dash number of uh, terms and the, altogether there will be n number of such products. Okay, So, this we are going to define as mutual geometric mean distance or in short it is called as mutual GMD between the conductors A and B and it is going to be denoted with DM. DM. What is DM? It is mutual geometric mean distance. What is uh, how it is defined? This is the m dash nth root of the m dash n terms which are the products of all possible mutual distances from the n filaments of conductor A to the m dash filaments of conductor b so that is what this mutual gmd means okay so the product of all possible so how many terms are there there are m dash and the number of terms are there okay so again it is a root also it's m dash n okay. similarly if you look at the denominator denominator here what are the terms that you have you have if you take the first uh, term which is the product of n number of terms n number of terms unlike the previous case where you have m dash number of terms in the did terms here there are only n terms there are only n terms okay and what are all these distances for example if you take this first uh, term it is the product of the distances from all the filaments of conductor a to the filament one in conductor a Okay, so that is the product of the first term. Okay. And if you go to the ith term, what is this term? It is the product of all the 
distances from all n number of filaments in conductor A to the ith filament in conductor A. Okay. Similarly, the last term, if you take, it is uh, the product of distances from all the conduct all the filaments in conductor A to nth filament in conductor A. So likewise, if you look at the entire entire equation, how many such uh, products will be there? There will be n number of products, and each product has again n number of distances as product. Okay, so this total uh, term can be considered as n square to root of the product of all possible combinations of distances from the filaments of conductor A to the filament the uh, filaments in conductor A only. Okay, so this can be considered as self uh, GMT. Okay, so this is going to be defined as this is a mutual, and uh, the next one is going to be self geometric mean distance. Okay, the denominator of the argument of the logarithm is the n square root of n square product of terms. Okay, so it's also n square root, and there are n square number of product terms that are there inside the n square root okay and it is defined as the self geometric mean distance or in short it is self gmd of conductor a and it is represented with dsa okay so sometimes uh, this uh, can also be called as self geometric mean distance okay you need to observe uh, this difference self geometric mean distance or geometric mean radius Okay, the same uh, self geometric mean distance is also called as geometric mean radius GMR. Okay, either it can be called as self GMD or GMR. So, if you look at this uh, term, the numerator is mutual GMD and the denominator is self GMD. This is represented with uh, DMA and this is then DSA. Okay, so if you simplify, if you replace all these uh, terms with uh, the equivalence this is dsa and that is dma so the equation will reduce to again if you look at the uh, equation it is just similar to what we have done in the uh, simple case of uh, having only one conductor okay so la is 2 into 10 power minus 7 natural algorithm dm by dsa henry per meter and uh, in terms of log base 10, it is 0.4611 log dm by dsa milli henry per kilometer. Okay, so this is how we can calculate the inductance of composite conductor lines. Okay, once you uh, calculate the inductance of conductor A, similarly you can extend the same equation to conductor B, where uh, uh, it will become what is the inductance of conductor B? Now it is going to be LB, which is going to be 2 into 10 power minus 7 natural logarithm dm by dsb okay dm is same so its uh, denominator is going to be dsb okay what is dsb it is self gmd of conductor b okay and that can be written as can you guess uh, how you can uh, write that uh, self gmd of your conductor b it's going to be m dash square root of m dash square root of the product of all possible con uh, combinations of distances from the filaments of conductor B to the filaments of conductor only. So here you are going to have in the, inside the uh, root, we are going to have again m dash number of products and each product will have m dash number of again uh, distances as product. Okay. So this is uh, what uh, self GMD and uh, mutual GMD means and you can calculate your uh, inductance the total inductance of the line can be calculated as l is equals to l a plus l b if you just by using the superposition theorem you can say it is l is equals to l a plus l b okay so this is how we can calculate the inductance of a composite conductors okay so in this particular learning dialogue video we have discussed about how to calculate the inductance of a single phase line single phase combo uh, line made up of composite conductors okay so in the coming uh, lending dialogue video we will be discussing about a three phase line so what we are doing we are slowly moving from the 
simple uh, network to the complex and very near to the real time scenario okay so we have started with single conductor and we are moving towards a three phase circuit okay so this is how uh, we will make the derivation okay we will uh, discuss about the three phase uh, inductance calculation for three phase lines in the next learning dialogue video thank you